Welcome everyone. Uh, I, I'm working, as Margaret said, as an early phase clinical project team lead over here at Gideon Richter PSC, and I'm going to talk about our uh, ongoing clinical trial in adults with Prader-Willi uh, syndrome, uh, the trial KITE BWS. But first, just a very few words about who we are as a company. So we are based in Hungary in Central Europe, and we have uh, over 200 medicines produced worldwide and distributed, and we are present in around uh, 40 countries uh, and have a history uh, longer than 120 years. Uh, and uh, the clinical trial we're now conducting, we're conducting this with our original research compound, abbreviated RGH706. Uh, we are looking at the effect of this in a clinical trial where we're trying to see if it will control hyperphagia in adults with Prader-Willi syndrome and how we think it works. So RGH706 blocks a hormone in the central nervous system called melanin concentrating hormone receptor 1. Uh, there is evidence that this hormone controls food-seeking behavior, and it has been shown that in people with Prader-Willi syndrome, this signaling might be um, different than in neurotypical individuals, and the checks and balances of this hormone is altered. So we think that by blocking this hormone with our compound, we'll be able to reduce hyperphagia. Uh, in our clinical trial, how we are investigating this. So uh, before we started this phase two trial, we did a usual phase one trial as was described uh, at the beginning of this webinar. So we tested it in neurotypical individuals without any safety or tolerability issues. And after that, we moved on to people with Prader-Willi syndrome. So we are investigating changes in hyperphagia with the hyperphagia for clinical trials questionnaire, which is the golden standard of measuring changes in hyperphagia in clinical trials and this validated questionnaire. It is also very important to note that this is a caregiver reported uh, outcome. So that means that um, the active involvement of primary caregivers is just as important in our trial as the involvement of people with Prader-Willi syndrome. We are looking at the effect of our drug in shorter and longer term. On the next slide, I'll show you uh, exactly uh, how our study is set up. But where we are currently, so we are up and running in five countries worldwide across 25 clinical sites. We have full regulatory and ethics approvals everywhere, and we have been able to recruit uh, quite a few patients already. So we have seven clinical sites in Spain, six in Italy, five in the United States, four in France, and two in the Czech Republic. How are studies looking like? So we have two parts of it, part A and part B. And for the first part, we're looking for 60 people with Prader-Willi syndrome. And for the second, we will be looking at 100. I'm going to be talking about the first part uh, because that's what we are currently recruiting for. And this is the active part currently. So people who enter the study uh, uh, will be um, given either uh, RGH706 or placebo. And their participation and their caregivers' participation will be necessary for 23 weeks. Out of this, the study treatment period is six weeks long, and we have a longer 11-week long follow-up period where we require um, the person with Prader-Willi syndrome and their caregiver to go back to the clinical site to answer a few questions. So I already mentioned that we're looking at changes in the hyperphagia clinical trials questionnaire. We have a bunch of other questions questionnaires and we are doing safety tolerability assessments so that basically means blood draws physical examinations and really answering uh, about any kind of uh, changes uh, we try to make it as easy for the families as we could so we also have a bunch of telehealth visits or home visits 
uh, basically. And we are also providing uh, travel support uh, and participation support for uh, people who would be uh, willing to uh, enter the study. Um, so these were really what I really wanted to share about uh, our clinical trial. If you type in Kite PWS, uh, there we have uh, quite a few materials available. And uh, we also really wanted to use this opportunity to give a very big shout out to all the patient advocacy groups who are working amazingly and uh, with outstanding motivation in the field of also clinical trials in prader willi syndrome. So uh, we just wanted to showcase this image of the different organizations we work with, including IPSO. Uh, we are very grateful for opportunities such as this one and national conferences, conventions, when we have a chance to not only talk to uh, the experts on the field, but actually meet families living with their loved ones of prader willi syndrome. It really helps us understand the needs of these families and making sure that we tailor our studies and our investigations to the needs of these families. So um, we are really appreciative of all the work that you're doing. Uh, so that was it from my presentation. I'm very happy to answer any questions uh, here or in the chat. Thank you for your attention.